the ego fucks with you. And when you're doing things out of good intentions and like you let negativity kind of come in the mix and tear you away from your, your mission, it's not good. Like I, I helped a lot of artists out there. This year, 50% of my business has came from TikTok. Fuck yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah, thank you. I've also passed $67,000 of SP services to other artists around the world. That's fucking awesome. Look at me sharing the wealth, people. Yeah, well, some of them have said thank you. Some of them, I, they got the info, they went and did the head, and there was no shout out or nothing. So Ego's telling me, like, maybe I should start charging for a referral program. Maybe maybe I could add that, include that into a training that's more of a retreat style uh, TikTok. Like, if I could create 15 different artists all around the world, mimicking what I do, benefiting. But there's ego that has to be put in check. If there's somebody in my area that found you and are willing to travel to you, do I want to press you for that info? No. But if the client cannot get out to you, why wouldn't you pass that information off? Why would you be the hurdle in front of a client and an artist that, that's actually good and a client that doesn't deserve to be going through the whole botch job, laser repair work. You know what I mean? Like, like if you haven't put your ego in check, you might want to. There's some good guys out there, some good women out there, and it's so easy to get wrapped up in somebody's negative action and then it just being like, you don't want that to be a part of your business, I feel like. You know what I mean? I definitely don't. I agree, and people will pick up on that. Come on, you daddy. <laughs>